Hello everyone, it's John Bourne again, and I want to talk to you a bit over the next few minutes about the large, or huge as they say, uh, set of assets or animations that are available via the Asset Store, the Unity Asset Store, which I put on the wiki. Now, if you look at the Asset Store, you'll find a um, well, let me find it here to just show you what it looks like. There is a um, page that looks like this. So if you go to the Asset Store and type in huge FBX mocap library, part one, this is what you'll get. Now, <clears throat> uh, FBX, FB stands for film box. It's a type of uh, file type that allows you to uh, transfer things like animations between one system and another. MoCap stands for Motion Capture. And the library has some 2,500 plus a few uh, animations in it, including a uh, spreadsheet and information that you can look up about finding various animations. So what I'm going to do is assume that I have pressed Open in Unity, and I've gone to Unity. Just do that here. Bring this back up so you can see it, the screen, and then I've opened the file that's been downloaded. Now you have to go to the window that says has the asset store and find what you've downloaded and then uh, install it. And that's not too bad, but we'll look at that. It takes a while, and you should know this is a fairly large file. 2 gigabytes will take a long time. So you basically can't do it on a shared internet very well. You have to probably do it at home to be able to um, download this file. All right, once it's downloaded, you have uh, put into your assets folder in the project uh, something called the huge mocap library. And there is a demo there. In the demo, I always like to look for scenes, and there is a scene there called Main. And if I double click on it, it brings up this scene. Now, I'm going to look at this run so you can see what's going on. Um, it's a relatively small um, window, so I think I'll maximize it first so you can see the whole thing. Oh, there it is. There's the guy running. This is uh, movements, it's called, and they also have some examples of sports and martial arts. Now, these movements are strung together in a sequence, so you can just see them, how they play out, and they're played <coughs> in a state machine, which is the controller for this particular humanoid. Notice you can go up and down the steps without them being there. It looks pretty convincing, or sit down on something that really isn't there. These were all captured in a Carnegie Mellon University laboratory in which they could take uh, videos of the people and have sensors and sense the different emotions. And from those sensors they could then create the animations. And they've got a bunch of different ones, like here's some sports. You can see what's going on there looks like, oh, he's dribbling a bit, and it's going to shoot the ball. So you can even imagine setting up a um, fairly interesting uh, sports kind of simulation here with this. And finally, they've got some examples of the martial arts things. So that's our avatar moving around and doing different things. And your job, to, if you want to use these, is to decide which ones to use and how to put them together so the avatar can do things. Now this is pretty useful basically for a uh, uh, artificial intelligence uh, avatar which can move around and be guided by these animations. If you're guiding it you have to also put into the animation a way to tell which animation should run. So if you press a C on the keyboard, for example, the avatar might crouch, or press the space bar, he might jump. 
So let me go back now to the main Unity screen. I'll uncheck Maximize so we can see him play again and show you what looks like a big deal here. What you can't see here very well, but will in a minute see better, is that if I play this again, here's the avatar running along over here. And this is the um, set of animations that are running. And as they run, they start out and go to one animation, then go to another animation, then go to another one, and another one, and another one, and keep going just in a straight line. Now you wouldn't necessarily want that to happen in an animated avatar that you make, but it works pretty, pretty fine if you've got a set of things they want to do. And these animations here, you can't really see them too well, but they're all numbered. And you see those numbers are the animations that came with the download. So let me stop and look at those and just see what some of them might be. Over here, they have listed under mocap animations. Oh, goodness. The first set that comes in the download comes with 40 folders of animations. Looking at the first one, there's about, oh, it looks like there's 14 in that one. But you'd have no idea what they are. You'll notice that each one of them comes with a, a symbol like this, which looks like a clip. If you click on it, you can um, actually see it over here. Ah, yes. I can pull that up from the bottom, and there is your avatar again, but we want to see what is that 01 animation. Well, we saw that before, didn't we? Look at that. Looks like his face is animated, too. Or we could um, go down to the last one and look at that. A lot of stuff going on there. Well, you really wouldn't want to go through 2,500 different animations to find the one that you want. So they have um, created and um, provided for us a uh, spreadsheet and another uh, set of information about the animations. And they come down here at the very end of the list of animations. One is a um, spreadsheet and the other is a text file. So let's just look at this, uh, the um, Okay, I say I'll look at it. Let me find it over here. There we go. Um, so you can see that here we have a long, detailed spreadsheet. And it's got loads and loads of stuff in it, like walk backwards and turn, walk sideways and turn. Walk forward, pick up a ball, putt, swing, um, bolt, loosening wrench, sawing, um, salsa dance of various kinds, um, acting like a monkey, walking, being, playing on a playground. Well, let's look at some other ways of uh, parsing this spreadsheet. If I look down here at um, the index, um, I'll find the way they've done this is to give you a little bit better description in text. And you can see what they did with each subject. They had a laboratory there at Carnegie Mellon. And by the way, this is all free for use in anything you want to make, even a game that you sell, it says here. So it's free. Now, uh, for example, this first subject it says subject one. Uh, these are all playground kinds of animations like forward jumps, turning around, climbing, hanging, swinging, etc., etc. You can see the kinds of things together, and that might be useful if you're doing a playground simulation. You can see there's a bunch of walk for subject twos, a bunch of dance for subject uh, five, 
Um, and there's all the basketball stuff. You can see the different kinds of things that you might want to put in. Lots of different walking and running and kicking and what have you. And other general things. Here are some various <coughs> everyday behaviors that you can look at. So you basically feel, by the time you get through with all this, that you should be able to make almost anything. And how do you do that? Well, you make a controller for your avatar. And in it, uh, the controller, you say what the avatar is going to do, how long it's going to do it, what things on the keyboard will trigger it. Um, they have a set of parameters, for example, that you can get different things to happen by having different um, keys that can be activated. This one had um, a um, GUI, a little graphic user interface, in which you could click movement or sports or martial arts. But you can also easily tie these up to the keyboard so you can have a range of different uh, things on the keyboard that will enable you uh, to cause different behaviors on the avatar. You can also, of course, use a controller, much like an Xbox controller, interface to Unity, in which you can do all the uh, controlling from all of those myriad of knobs that you have on an Xbox controller. So there's a lot to do, and this introduction was just a start on showing you some of the things that uh, you might be able to do and to acquaint you with what's out there. We'll do more on another one. So see you next time.